So here's my first part of the whole thing. It's a letter from my friend Max. He wants to get rid of homework. It reads, Dear Mr. Pittman, I'm writing to argue that homework is a waste of time and should be abolished. There are many reasons for thinking this, and these are set out below. I hope you take them seriously. Firstly, I feel that homework is actually a real waste of our time when we could be doing other things. As you know, we all have busy lives and do things like dancing or playing football in organised groups after school and at weekends. This, to me, is a much more useful way of spending our time because we get to exercise and practice new skills rather than being stuck at desk writing. Also, I do think that the idea of homework itself is unfair. We already work hard enough in school and yet we're asked to continue more learning outside of school hours. We do tests and assessments and check that we've learned and understood what we have been taught. So why is there a need for homework? More importantly, I don't believe that homework is effective. Some of us have to share rooms and tables with our brothers and sisters. This makes finding space to actually do our homework very difficult, as well as this. We sometimes don't have the right equipment to do the homework, which doesn't help. Furthermore, if we get stuck, our parents can't always help us. This doesn't help either. These are just some of the arguments as to why I think homework should be got rid of. It is a waste of time and not everyone is in a position to do it well. If we work so hard in school, why should we do it? It's time this old-fashioned way of learning was got rid of. Yours sincerely, Max. So, not a bad example at all, was it? Pretty good persuasive letter. Your task using a pencil or a pen. Can you mark, tick or underline these things in the text? Non-negotiables, full stops, capital letters. Join clear handwriting, question marks and commas. Introduction, a paragraph with expanded points. Conclusion, front and adverbials, conjunctions and a rhetorical question. Don't forget, a question that doesn't need an answer. It has its own answer. Either yes or no. Do you take the box when you find them? Good luck. Pause. Carry on. Well, how did you go? This is mine. Unlike you, I've been able to use a highlighter. So, first of all, the non-negotiables. Well, they're in yellow. I've highlighted my A for capital letter, my comma, my question mark, full stop, two in fact, and a bit of joint handwriting. Then I've got my opening paragraph. That's in green. My paragraph with expanded points. Well, that's in purple. Below, it's the third one. My conclusion is in light blue. My fronted adverbial is in a nice red. And my conjunction, a word that joins sentences together, or parts of sentences together to make one sentence, is in blue. And lastly, my rhetorical question in grey, if I haven't said that already. And of course, colour in my box appropriately. Yours, of course, might be ticked, or maybe you've managed to colour it in as well. Well done.